Hey everyone, it's Libby from Meister Tarot. I'd like to acknowledge the Waramai First Nations people and welcome to you, your guides, my guides of the Universal Energies and by Crikey and Stone the Crows, we together over 2,000 subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I am completely blown away and welcome to you all. Um, have, because I've got so many new subscribers and I've had a few questions, I'm just going to run through my two guides for those that have um, heard it all before. You can zip forward. Uh, I have uh, Meister, whose actual name is Angus, but Angus doesn't really cut it between us. Uh, Meister is Gaelic uh, Celt for Master. Uh, when we started off on this journey together, when I first um, uh, was open to Meister, and it actually did take a third party, beautiful friend of mine, um, Judy, who introduced me to Meister during a weekend workshop session. Apparently he looks like a young Mel Gibson. I don't see him. I hear him. Oh boy, do I hear him. Uh, but yeah, apparently he looks like uh, Mel Gibson from the Thunderdome type era. Uh, he is uh, obviously uh, Gaelic Celt, uh, was a uh, leader of his tribe, of his community. Uh, during the times of the, the uh, Roman invasion of the UK. So we're looking at about 2000 years ago, nearly died in battle, um, defending his uh, community, uh, his young daughter Saoirse, uh, who was about five or six at the same time, and I have communicated with her, but Meister doesn't really want, she's got other, <laughs> she's got other purposes. Um, and uh, she also died in the same battle. She escaped from her mother and, and went to be with her father. Um, and uh, uh, Saoirse's mother, Meister's partner, uh, she went on to have a long and fruitful life. So very interesting history there. Um, a lot of it him and I have sussed out between ourselves. And yes, it was very scary for about the first six months when uh, I first started communicating with Meister because my brain was so busy he couldn't get a, a word in edgeways. So when I had quiet moments, literally when I'm shampooing my hair or something like that, uh, boom, he would be in. Really, until such a time as I just learnt to... Uh, took about, as I said, about six months to accept... Uh, my other guide, if you see either of them, let me know. Um, the other is Narin, uh, that is Waramai First Nations uh, language for uncle, which is a sign of huge respect for um, First Nations uh, community elders. He was a tribal elder and he was also a spiritual healer. I pitch in Meister in his leathers, his furs, his uh, wooden shield, his sword, you name it, uh, beard, hair, um, youngish man, I would probably say mid-twenties, early thirty, uh, late twenties. Narin, um, uh, I picture him, when I do picture him, uh, as uh, Wari First Nations, um, burnt as dark as a nut. Uh, with white beard, white hair, literally with a kangaroo loincloth and his uh, wooden staff. Both incredibly powerful, uh, completely different, wicked sense of humour, uh, but differing. Okay, that's the introduction for my boys. Now, what I'm going to have a quick look at, I was asked uh, by one of my lovely viewers to have a look at the Dalai Lama. And I oh, what's the Dalai Lama being up to now? I have actually very briefly met the Dalai Lama on an international um, flight um, and received a blessing from him and the energy from him was just um, incredibly calm and soothing and loving and uh, just encompassing. It was f just it's hard to describe it was just beautiful energy now okay so I had a look to see um, what he's been up to recently for someone to ask and uh, the news is that um, he had uh, stuck out his tongue at a young boy during an introduction uh, and I think he made a giggly comment about um, sucking on his tongue now 
I'm going to put in a little bit of information here. Um, okay, for us Westerners, ooh, that's very uncomfortable, that's very creepy. However, in the Buddhist uh, religion, the sticking out of the tongue is a greeting. Um, it, it stems from, the f from having a pink tongue meant you were a Buddhist and having a black tongue meant that you um, uh, didn't follow the Buddhist, re Buddhist religion, from what I understand. Um, so it is very normal for a tongue to be stuck out as a form of greeting. It's uh, like with the uh, Maori people in New Zealand, they rub noses. Um, you know, Westerners, we shake hands. So it is their actual greeting and the pink tongue signifies that they are of the Buddhist um, religion. Now, I'm not. I've got a pink tongue, but uh, that was that is how it is traditionally is. Now, the comment afterwards, yes, um, he does have a very unusual uh, sense of humour because of... Um, he was tagged as the Dalai Lama from a very, very young age, I believe. And so his concept of, of society is extremely profound in some ways, but stunted in others. He has since apologised. I think he has realised. But I'm just going to have a quick look with the Dalai Lama. Okay, show me, sorry about my wobbly table, I'm on the card table poked into the corner of the lounge room, uh, looking forward to having an office of my own one day, uh, it will happen but just when is, is uh, it'll happen when it's meant to. Okay, just show me the Dalai Lama, energies of the Dalai Lama, I can picture him as clear as day. In his airline seat, actually, because I did walk past him as I headed down to cattle class and he was in business class on that flight because there was no first class. Show me the energies of the Dalai Lama. The Dalai Lama. Oh, using my um, runic, oh, runic tarot cards for those that want to know what cards I'm using. Lovely, lovely deck. I want, the, the, this is the one the guides have told me to use. Um, oh, what's popped over there? Um, I, I ask them before I start a reading what deck they would like. Okay, show me the energies of the Dalai Lama. I have got cards flying out everywhere. The Dalai Lama, the Dalai Lama, the Dalai Lama. That one. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, wow, what an arrangement of cards. Okay, I'll bring you down. These are the ones that have come out. This was the very first that came out. All major arcana. Wow. In a deck that size, all four cards are a major arcana. We have the lovers. And I'm getting that this is his connection with... Um, with his spirituality. If you ha have a look at this particular card, okay, thank you boys, they're telling me it is the Dalai Lama uh, sitting down in front with his meditation and this feminine spiritual energy is behind, over, around, encompassing him. So he does have uh, quite, uh, and not having met him I will agree he has a very feminine uh, energy around him we have I don't know what order these came out at but we have the Hierophant which is the higher authorities we have the Sun full illumination but also joy he does just have a joy full open joy in the travel in in the path through life and then we have the hermit so what I'm getting from this thank you guys is they're telling me that he does leave a very isolated life he has his protectors he has his uh, oh how do I put that 
they're not servants. They're, he sees them as equals, his advisors, his advisors. But he does lead a very isolated life, so he doesn't feel... Um, he doesn't necessarily understand sheltered life. Thank you. Sheltered... Uh, yeah. Sheltered, cloistered. Cloistered is the word they're giving me. A cloistered life. So it's not until he crosses the line that he really understands what is acceptable and not. I might continue on. We have another major arcana, the moon. This is the good versus evil over the cloche. Um, the, what, defending what is really precious against evil. He, his message is, if you do read his messages, his messages are always about peace and love and acceptance. Justice, another major arcana. Uh, this is... Um, actions and consequences so he does understand what he's done and he does profusely regret it um, but this is also about the sword of truth holding back the evil so this is about the buddhist followings king of wands <laughs> I'm, I'm glad it's not another major well actually no I would, i'm actually surprised it's not a ma another major arcana but this is masculine energy and inspirational figure uh, with full of passion full of passion bringing forward a solid plan for action to move forward um, uh, yeah I'm just gonna leave it at that he's there he is confident in what he the message that he is bringing forward okay Five of Wands. So this is about, uh, okay, it looks awful. Um, it is about obstacles, uh, infighting, can be infighting, it can be uh, an attempt to bring down. But this is also a card of defiance in the face of messaging that's coming out there. Okay, thank you guys. That's the, what they wanted me to say. It is about a defiance in the face of, of um, the attacks that he's receiving. So he understands... Okay, thank you. What I'm getting is that he understands where that particular action came from. Um... He understands and he's standing by where he, where it came from. And as I said, the, the tongue being poked out is a sign of greeting. And then we have the Queen of Wands, the feminine, empathetic energy. So we've got these two, uh, the King and Queen of Wands on either side of this um, defiance. Okay, I'm actually going to leave that reading there. There's a... There's a bit on the bottom here that's quite interesting. Oh, actually, no, I won't. I will read the bottom here. We have the Ten of Swords, the barren landscape with all the swords of truth plunged in. It is about an ending. So maybe he is coming to an ending. I don't know how old he is. Um, when I met him, gosh, that was 15 years ago. Um, so this is about... Um, I just get great sadness from this particular card in this deck. But yeah, it, it is about an end being brought about. We have more major arcana, judgment. This is why I said, okay, I'll read the bottom. A judgment and an inevitable ending. And then we have the fool, a start of a new journey. Just going to ask Pendulum a quick question in regards to this. I don't see him stepping aside, but these cards on the bottom have me intrigued. Okay, can I ask a question, please, guys? Can I ask a question? It's not so much intrigued. I'm just getting a feeling about these cards on the bottom. Will the Dalai Lama, will he pass soon? 
will he pass in, pass in the near future? And that's a definite yes. So is this fool card about a new soul journey for him? Is this fool card the new soul journey for him? And I'm getting a yes for that. Oh dear, okay. Well, I say oh dear because um, I just remember that energy that he emanated and his words of peace. Okay, thank you for joining me. I hope that was enlightening and uh, we shall see where it leads. Take care. Love to you all.